He's never left. He likes to hang out in the coral facility a lot. We have to like kind of like push him aside when we're cleaning the coral things because he just like, sleeps there and stuff. <laughs> um, but that's who that is. He looks like a pirate, but not now. We'll see you later. This is our other mate, Sam Malone. She spoke. She laughs a lot. That's very loud. <laughs> this is Sasha Wheeler. Oh, this is Sasha Wheeler. Yeah. Talk about Sasha Wheeler. Hi guys. Uh, I'm here to talk about a very important species of animal. This is a uh, Homo Sashikus. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, very aesthetically pleasing, um, very highly functional animal. Um, had, this was born in Salt Lake City, Utah. Has a BS in biology from the University of Utah. Go Utes! Woo! Go Utes! Yeah, really? Yeah. Hey, hey, that's the first time that anyone has ever responded to that. Cool. All right. Um, I'm interested in core reef biology, marine invertebrates, climate change related effects. Oh, sad face. And fish metabolism, which doesn't like this. So, woo! <laughs> <laughs> That's the shame. It's not sure we look. Oh my gosh. It's not true. It is. Hey. It's a beautiful dog. Hey. Oh, yes. Yeah. Not, not my dog. Sure. First of all, not my dog. Second of all, hi, I'm Natty. Um, hi, I'm from New Braunfels, which is uh, a little bit outside San Antonio, Texas. Woo! Love Texas. All right, anyways, okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I have a Biochemistry, oh, and biochemistry from UT Austin, the oh, Comores, um, and I have a certificate in front of science. That's cool. What are you doing here, Maddie? I have listen. I have no idea. Um, no, I'm just kidding. Having a fun summer job. Um, so my interest as far as my career, um, I wanted to do DNA, DNA analysis, um, and I'm also into genetics and gene editing, and there's some cool stuff going on with CRISPR and corals, and like, if you want to know more about that, come talk to me, because like, it's cool as heck. Okay. Ooh, that's AJ, he's another stem mate. He looks like a shark, but he's not here yet, so he doesn't belong. He does look like a shark. In the best <laughs> <laughs> That's me. Uh, who is? Ooh. William Mark. Well, he probably will. I don't know. From Chicago, Illinois. I am a senior at Broward College in Fort Lauderdale. I have um, working towards a bachelor's in science with environmental science, uh, biosecurity, focusing on wildlife and habitat conservation. Interest, sea turtles. Anything sea turtles? Oh my god, I love them. Seagrass ecology. Awesome, uh, underestimated uh, ecosystem that I will try to persuade you guys to come uh, see. Not persuade, you're gonna go see it because I'm amazing. That's all. <laughs> um, <laughs> microplastics education outreach. There's microplastics in everything, so have fun with that. Okay. <laughs> I also like wildlife photography and writing and long walks on the beach. Hold on. <laughs> 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 but anyway, it's just a dark one man show going. Yeah, it's just like I'm <laughs> Um, anyway, welcome to the Britain Environmental Center, after that really awkward segue. <laughs> uh, it was established in May of 2001 by this gentleman here, Pat Ajax. No, I'm joking. It's Jay Porter Britain. <laughs> you guys are uh, too young for that. You don't know what real fortune is. <laughs> he has a benefactor of property, so just so you guys know where we are located, we are down here in some way. We are not up here in the middle. Very big difference. If y'all stop up here looking for us, you're wrong. We're done. So, welcome to the Florida Keys. I'll let you take it. Okay, cool. Welcome to the Florida Keys. Wait, where are the Florida Keys? Yes. So, it is a subtropic zone with a 18 foot highest point on the elevation. It is prone to frequent storms and hurricanes. Many important natural habitats, including harbor dynamics, everglades, mangroves, seagrass, and of course, coral reefs. Click. Oh, actually, that's an impressive fun slide right there. That's the path of all the storms that have come through this area, so... Since 19... It's a little wet. Since... That number. Alright, and you can see we are in a... Subtropic zone. So, very interesting. 
Okay, a long time ago. The Florida Keys were underwater, like we just learned. However, the Ice Age sucked up all that fresh water and created an isolated chain of islands known as the Florida Keys. Oh, so beautiful. Oh, so dear. Once a great barrier reef, then the sea levels dropped, exposed slash killing the reef, but creating another one. Enter the mangroves, the island builders. Uh, you guys all stuff, all right. <laughs> Turns! So, why are the Florida Keys so beautiful, so diverse, so majestic? Well, Sasha, it probably has something to do with all the diversity and currents and flow regimes in this area. So you can see, there's a lot of different paths the water takes around here, and it goes a lot of different places. And it mixes up, boom, right in our backyard. So that means all that fun life that travels around the globe, it ends up right here for the scouts to see. Isn't that nice? Right it's so there. pretty. Right all right. It's also the convergence of three different zones, the Louisiana, and the West Indian, and the Carolinian. All right, it's also a marine protected, <laughs> a marine protected area. It spans the entire Keys. Sorry. The marine protected area spans the entire Keys. So this whole area is protected. There are various, various levels of protections with various um, different organizations with different levels of um, preservation intensity. Just pull that out of the butt. But, um, <laughs> Yeah, so you can see, um, you can fish, you can have fun in here, but we're going to watch what to do, we're going to count how many fish you take, and we're going to make sure that the fish don't go away forever, like the Caribbean one seal did. All right, water cycle. Yay, we're going to talk about water cycle. Thank <laughs> you. 